You're listening to Brains On from NPR News and Southern California Public Radio. We're serious about being curious. Do you hear that? Oh, never mind. I'm Molly Blue. Okay, wait. There's definitely a bug in here. Shoot. Okay, where was I? Um. Oh, yeah. I'm Molly Bloom, and today we're going to talk about... Gotcha! Wait, don't slap! What the what? A talking mosquito? Hey, when you hang around a recording studio long enough, you pick up a few things. Huh. I'm a huge fan of podcasts. I've been trying to work my way in here for days. Welcome, I guess. Hey, you know, as long as you're here, maybe you could help me answer this question that was sent to us from Provo, Utah. Hello, I am Colin. My question is, how do mosquitoes suck out your blood? Great question, Colin. Um, that's usually my line. Well, take a look at these mouth parts here. You'll have to describe them. This is a podcast. Oh, yeah. I'm a mosquito, and I'm here to show you my mouth parts. Tell, don't show. Oh, yeah. There are six different needle-looking structures here that help me get my blood meal. These two, these ones that look like little saws, they're for piercing your skin. And these two, these ones hold the skin open so that I can stick this other needle into one of your blood vessels. That's the one that sucks up the blood. And then this last one injects some of my saliva into your blood. Ew. It's not gross. It's useful. My spit does all sorts of amazing things to your blood chemistry. It keeps your blood from clotting and also opens your blood vessels wider. This helps me eat faster so I can get out there before you, (coughs) um, squish me. I see. Well, here's a thought. How about maybe just not biting me? Your chance of getting squished would go way down. Yeah, about that. See, I kind of need the blood, actually. Only female mosquitoes bite because we need the protein in blood to make eggs and eventually little baby mosquitoes. They're so cute. They kind of look like little spiky dandelions. Sounds adorable. You know, no one has ever taken the time to chat with me. Thank you so much, Molly, for having me here today. This actually worked out really well. High five, mosquito! Oops. Before we answer more of your questions about mosquitoes, it's time for the mystery sound. Here it is. Any guesses? There's definitely a water element going on. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey. I think it's like a windstorm. Well, it's nice to see you too, Sandin. And you guys are close, but not quite right. So we're going to get to the answer to the mystery sound in just a little bit. But first, you guys are here to talk about something else. Well, yeah. You know, Molly, Mark and I, we love to spar and disagree over the big questions of the universe. Yeah, like which are cooler, bridges or tunnels? Are cats evil or are cats good? And Molly, we're feeling feisty again, and we want another debate. But we're having trouble coming up with the perfect pairing. So we're asking all of you listening to send in yours. What are some cool things we can pit against each other? Purple versus green? Feet versus hands. Grapes versus oranges? Boxers versus briefs? Boxers and briefs? Yeah, you guys definitely need some help. So I know our Brains On listeners can come up with something way better. So let us know what you want Mark and Sandin to debate next. Write us at brainson at m as in Minnesota, P-R, dot org. Or hit us up on Facebook or look for us on Twitter or Instagram. We are brains underscore on. We'll pick our favorite matchup and do an episode all about it. So holler at us. Holla! Speaking of, it's time now to induct the latest group of Brains Honor rollies. These awesome people have sent us mail, drawn us pictures, given us questions and mystery sounds, and high fives. Here they are. Cameron from Kelmscott, Australia. Carmen from Norfolk, Virginia. Sloan and Lark from Portland, Oregon. Sia and Michael from Palos Verdes, California. Melody from San Diego. August from Wyoming. Aiden from Seattle. Barron from Lakewood, Washington. Decker from San Diego. Gabriel from Denver. Maria and Miller from Minatrista, Minnesota. Fletcher from Fort Collins, Colorado. Quinn from Brooklyn. Sabine from Seattle. Isaac from Brea, California. Margo from Fremont, California. Ada and Mac from Clancy, Montana. Aaron from West Hartford, Connecticut. Georgia from 
from San Mateo, California, Isabella from Omaha, Ashley from Niceville, Florida, Ruby from North Andover, Massachusetts, Amelia and Isaac from Arlington, Virginia, Vikram and Akshay from New Haven, Connecticut, Benny from Pflugerville, Texas, Jaren and Karis from St. Louis, Scott from Wyzetta, Minnesota, Elise and Madeline from Stafford, Virginia, Jack from Oak Park, Illinois, Kara from Burlington, Kentucky, Sahana from Santa Clara, California, Sammy from New York City, Meyer from Arlington, Virginia, Dia from Homedale, New Jersey, Rutger from North Carolina, Helena from Minneapolis, Kaylee from Eugene, Oregon, Amelia from Oklahoma City, Joaquin from New Paltz, New York, Landon from North Bend, Washington, Hugo from Washington, D.C., Isla from Snoqualmie, Washington, Oakley from Minneapolis, Lizzie from Portland, Oregon, Max and Mason from Battleground, Washington, Maya and Oliver from Vienna, Virginia, Henry from Jackson Heights, New York, Nathalia and Ryan from Highland Park, California, Anissa and Cecilia from La Mesa, California, Ajika and Samara from Wendell, Massachusetts, Arlo and Ezra from Parkville, Missouri, Sky and Odin from Ithaca, Amanda and Araceles from McAllen, Texas, and Ginny from Melbourne, Australia. Let's go back to the mystery sound. Here it is again. Listen to that all day. Any new guesses? Here with the answer is Farah and Kayvon from Berkeley, California. That was the sound of waves crashing at the beach in Kauai. My favorite thing to do at the beach is go bodyboarding. And my favorite thing to do at the beach is sit on the shore and wait for the waves to rush over me. <laughs> now, back to your mosquito questions. Here's one I'm sure we all want to know. Hi, Rain's On. My name is Sophia. My name is William. And our question is, why do mosquito bites itch? Now that our mosquito guest is, um, no longer with us, we have a human mosquito expert who's agreed to help us. Sure, my name is Lyric Bartholomew. She's a medical entomologist from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Remember the mosquito saliva that we heard about earlier? That's the key to the itch. The mosquito spit in you, and um, and the body needs to respond somehow. There's actually a whole series of different proteins inside mosquito spit. The proteins in the saliva are causing your immune system to just go wild. Your body's recognizing that there's something there that wasn't supposed to be there. And you get an inflammatory response, which is that familiar itchy, swelling redness. Here's another question. Hi, my name's Amanda. Hi, my name's Araceli. And, and we're, we're from, from McAllen, Texas. Texas. We want to know why mosquitoes bite some people more than others. I, I wish we knew. Um, I always tell people that the reason they get bitten more than other people is because they're really delicious. So there are certain things that mosquitoes respond to when they're s- looking for somebody to feed on. Smells and sights. And some of the smells that they're attracted to are things like CO2, you know, which of course we we breathe out, and lactic acid, which is produced when we activate our muscles. Some studies have shown that people with O blood type or stinky feet attract more mosquitoes. It's also probably important to point out that there are more than 3,000 different kinds of mosquitoes, and every one of those mosquitoes is responding to different chemical cues in the environment to find a host to feed on. So it's really hard to generalize. So yes, some mosquitoes are more attracted to O blood type, but not all. So how do we protect ourselves from mosquitoes? There is one thing that you can do to really make a big difference in whether or not you get bitten, and that's to use um, a tried and true sort of insect repellent. And so those insect repellents that have DEET in them, for example, there's all kinds of evidence to suggest that those those work really, really well. So mosquitoes respond to smells using their antennae and different organs on their body. And one of the theories is that if you have DEET on, the different organs on a mosquito that respond to smells are confused. So they can't smell you anymore. Another way the different species of mosquito vary is that only some of them carry the viruses and parasites that are harmful to humans. For example, in the state of Iowa, with 55 different kinds of mosquitoes that we see, maybe about 
five of them are important in terms of disease transmission. But the ones that do carry disease cannot be ignored. The mosquito that transmits malaria parasites in Africa is the most dangerous animal on the planet by any measure because of the number of people that die after having been bitten by those mosquitoes. Which leads us to this question from Brian. He's from Sydney, Australia. My question is, do mosquitoes have a purpose to be on the earth? They go around annoying everybody. They suck your blood. So what are they meant for? Lyric says that even though mosquitoes are a nuisance and potentially dangerous, they do play an important role in the ecosystem. The environment benefits from mosquitoes being there because... Mosquitoes feed all kinds of animals. You can find mosquitoes, lots of mosquitoes in the bellies of ducks and frogs and all kinds of different animals. And so they're a really essential part of the food chain. In places where we do a really good job of controlling mosquitoes and just take all of them out of the environment, it can have an impact on things like bird reproduction. So a bird lays an egg and she needs proper nourishment in order to lay healthy eggs too. And so if she doesn't have all the mosquitoes to feed on, she might have sort of brittle eggshells. Now I've told you that, but I've also told you that there's more than 3,000 kinds of mosquito. So Lyric says that instead of getting rid of all mosquitoes, scientists are working on ways to control the small number of mosquito species that spread disease and pathogens. One strategy involves infecting mosquitoes with a bacteria called Wolbachia. This bacteria is a natural one already living in some mosquitoes, just like all the bacteria we have living in our guts. Um, Wolbachia is really interesting. And what we've learned is that mosquitoes that are infected with Wolbachia are also not readily infected with other things. So it's a really powerful potential tool. So mosquitoes with this Wolbachia shouldn't be able to pick up and spread other diseases, making them a pest, but not deadly. Sure, they're dangerous animals, but I think we should appreciate how important they are. How can we appreciate the mosquitoes and understand their diversity and how they fit in an ecosystem, but also try and control the really dangerous ones for the benefit of people's health. That's it for this episode of Brains On. Brains On is produced by Mark Sanchez, Sandon Totten, and me, Molly Bloom. Many thanks to Nancy Yang for lending her vocal talents. If you have any questions or mystery sounds or drawings to share with us, you can email them to brainson at m as in Minnesota, pr.org, or you can find our mailing address on our website, brainson.org. Thanks for listening. 